Hello fellow monarch butterfly enthusiasts. Uh, this is the latest uh, update on the Pili Island uh, milkweed destruction. As you remember a while back I did mention that the, uh, the field officer that was investigating this matter went on vacation and then once she got back uh, she sent me this email. Uh, Leo, I spoke with our species of risk expert and she said that the monarch is considered a SAR, you know, species at risk. Uh, now there are three divisions of SAR in our Ontario legislation and they are threatened, endangered, and species of concern. So currently the monarch is considered a species of concern under the SAR framework. As such, there is no requirement to protect the monarch habitat. Uh, that might change at some point, but right now <coughs> there is no protection for the milkweed under the Ontario legislation. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me. So then I did contact her once she got back and I sat in her office for about an hour and we went over this whole thing, you know, to see what was more appropriate for us to, uh, to get some results, you know, from the Pili Island winery and the uh, North End farms, you know, that did this damage. So. Uh, again, I, I told her that, you know, we send an email, I showed her the email and the uh, suggestion that we had for them to replace the missing milkweed, the destroyed milkweed actually, uh, by planting some more in a safe area where there will be no uh, pesticides or insecticides spraying. And uh, so far, I haven't heard anything from, from them. Um, we'll, we'll have to see in the spring if anybody contacts us from the island. If not, basically, that's where things are. Now, <clears throat> as uh, she mentioned, you know, if the law changes, then everything, um, you know, changes on their behalf too, uh, to protect the milkweed, whatever happens to be. So, as a uh, <laughs> as I was uh, uh, mentioned by many other people, it was suggested to me that really the best way, the best thing we can do right now is wait for the results, uh, stop buying their wine if that's what, you know, makes you happier. Uh, I definitely stopped buying it anyways. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to even go think about going close to a uh, a Pili Island uh, uh, bottle of wine. But again, nevertheless, you know, it, it is what it is. Things can change. Uh, common sense, you know, could prevail at some point, and maybe they will consider um, replant some of those milkweed that have been destroyed. But as it stands right now, uh, according to the, uh, to the law of the ministry, of, an, uh, of the environment, as I was explained, uh, there isn't much that they can do. Now, there is something that they can and will do. Uh, in fact, I was assured that uh, <laughs> there is people on the lookout. Uh, next time their uh, boom goes out to spray, uh, they will make sure that the wind um, is what is according to the law and to the instructions of the product that, that they're using. And also uh, the temperature uh, in the air has to be a certain, you know, a certain uh, temperature before they can use these products. And the other thing, the most important, is to keep their spraying in the boundaries of their field. In other words, um, not to spray, you know, not to overspray uh, uh, ditches and, and this and that and the other. Now, another thing I want to mention to you about the ditches, the way it stands right now, even though the, uh, the resident that took the movie 
that you probably saw, did mention that the, uh, the tractor went over there and tried to, you know, destroy the evidence by cutting down all the milkweed to mulch the milkweed that, that they had previously sprayed. Um, but really, they had no idea, I guess these people didn't know the law that much, <laughs> that uh, uh, that could have been something they, that they would have worked out with a, with a township. So in other words, the law cannot even punish them for that, okay? Simply because of the township can say, hey, no, we ask them, you know, to, um, to spray the, uh, the ditches for us, so that will save us time and money by sending our own people. And now, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be a troublemaker, but as you know, companies like Pelee Island and uh, Winery uh, and North End Farms being, you know, in the millions and maybe billions of dollars, um, they hold some, uh, you know, some ground there in the island and the township is not going to go after them. So even if we want to go pursue the township to see you know, to say why this was done, they could always turn around and say, oh no, we ask them, you know, to do it for us, blah, blah, blah. So in either case, we'll be <laughs> left dry. So let's wait to the spring to see what happens. If I hear anything new from the ministry, I'll keep you updated. And if not, uh, just let's concentrate on what we're doing and, uh, you know, don't get too much upset <laughs> about whatever happens around us, okay? Take care, I'll talk to you later, bye.